Welcome to Guided Meditations and More. Uh, my name is Ade Richardson, and this is the Guided Meditations and More podcast. Um, I haven't done this podcast in a while, so I'm trying to get back into it and really excited to have my good friend Maya here with us today. She's been on several shows before, and uh, I thought I could kick off uh, getting back into this podcast with uh, having a conversation with uh, Maya. And, um, you know, Maya and I have been friends uh, on Facebook, and, and uh, I really enjoy her post and what she has to offer, um, always dedicated to truth and to sharing openly and honesty, and I, that really resonates with me, and I hope it resonates with, with you who's listening. Not sure where this conversation is going to go. Maya probably has a a better idea than I do, but I figure we can kind of play jazz and just see how things flow. And uh, yeah. let's get right into the uh, conversations. Again, if anyone is here and you have any questions for Maya, uh, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below this video. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on those comments and I'll uh, give those questions to Maya. She answers all questions. Doesn't matter what subject, physics, anything. <laughs> 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 so uh, where should we start? Um, how about, uh, I want to read something uh, uh, first. Is that okay? Something that you wrote? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I, I, I read this the other day and I, and I like it for one particular reason. So fuck material reality as the <laughs> only valid one. It really disturbs me highly how we still have difficulty to see that our material advantage says nothing of us as individuals due to our planetary imbalance. It gets to me when privileged adults think that material reality would have any kind of advantage when it's the contrary. Um, whatever we have is enough. Fancy shit is not needed. Overindulgence facilitates poor seeing of true wealth, strength, and bravery. And those are traits that we should be uh, looking for instead of seeking out the last spiritual whatever that attended some privileged bullshit and now think he or she is, not, is a hot shot. And this is a part I really like. At the same time, he or she very well could be so uh, a hot shot. So tread lightly with your assumptions and uh, treat everyone, every individual as unique as yourself. Now, I, I like that because it really captures, mm -hmm. like when I think of you, um, the uh, semen paradox, the kind of mm -hmm. capturing both sides, the the negative, the positive, the, and at the root of that, the, um, the, the transparency and the humility, you know, so you say these things, but then there's always this, well, but who knows, you know, so there's yeah. always <laughs> room uh, for expansion and, and to take in more. And, and that's something that I really appreciate. So you take the floor now. Um, uh, what's, the the uh, the topic maybe we could start here the topic of or the title is uh um the title is consciousness a welcoming consciousness into the material uh, earth realm can you sort of uh unpack that title what does that mean to you yeah. um well uh it's it's about understanding consciousness on a human level, uh, finding ways to be able to integrate uh, the soul into the the human experience in a more understandable way, and um, for able to be able to do this, uh, I've seen that we need some kind of method. It's there there needs to be some kind of tools. Um, 
so that we can do this because um, what I've been seeing is that there's a lot of uh, concepts, there's a lot of spiritual concepts, there's a lot of things being said, but there's no kind of deep explanation to it. So um, most of these things that I've been looking into showed me that it's simply half half of it and uh, we need to expand it more uh, because for me, at least, it wasn't enough to just, you know, just adopt concepts that were being given to me. Uh, I mean, that's kind of what I did before. You know, I come from a, from a, from a life where everything said to me uh, was just uh, as it was, as, as people would, would tell me things were. I just would believe that because I figured why should I not believe it? Why should I, uh, you know, uh, question this? I was being, as a human being, naive, but at the same time, my soul um, was doing very deep work because what I've been seeing is that this naive, na being naive and, and being seen as, as uh, a victim or, or whatever uh, in that spectrum, actually is a very good way for you to get inside uh, information you know uh, because when when we when people judge us for something uh, the other one is simply saying i know what you are you know so it's closing up any kind of possibility for anything else that's why i always leave that kind of window open so that anything can come through and change my perception or expand it. And, and this is the same thing because we, we always need to leave something open, but at the same time, um, there's a lot of people that have a lot of knowledge right now that are not even aware of it. And, and I, I come from that place because um, in a very extreme place, uh, through my life, thinking that I, I I was nothing and and actually living it as as it was like I was nothing, and then slowly realizing that all the concepts that I had about myself was not given by me but by by others, but at the same time that dynamic that happening created something else, which was I had been let through to other realms and other realities and other universes where I had expanded myself a lot, you know, with other people um, because they lower their guards. You know, they think that, oh, you're naive, you're, you're stupid, you're this, you're that. And then we actually uh, lower our guard because we're judging others. And then uh, in, in human ways, we just simply are ourselves you know so people that have been very difficult on me or very um damaging or cruel to me they lower their guard because once they be they were cruel to me they were showing a side of themselves that they not necessarily showed anyone else so um i got to be able to experience that side of them uh but only because i didn't judge them because when you judge someone the person closes off again and gets intimidated and and just you know separates from from others. So the non judgment part is very important, and at the same time, it's, it's dangerous. It is dangerous. But what I'm trying to do now is to show people that spectrum of people that has not been able to to be seen at all right now, but that they carry so much information within them that they actually maybe don't even see yet and understand. And, and I, I feel that that is actually bringing consciousness down to earth because in that, in that world, in those worlds of darkness and difficulties, we basically said, you know, um, I'm just gonna trust my heart in this one, you know, it's just, I'm just going to go into this and and just trust my heart and and just get out from on the other side with the help of my heart and of course once your heart is in it in in a very wholesome way you also realize that you need your brain you need all all kinds of elements that you never maybe 
accept it to, to yourself because you had such low self-esteem, but at the same time, once again, the low self-esteem and the feeling of not having a brain or not accessing different parts of you is what makes others lower their guard so that you can be able to get into those worlds and explore them and expand with them. So this bringing down consciousness to earth is basically like showing people what they have been doing without even realizing it maybe. And just it's it's a it's a game changer for me because you know um, everything is already said in a way in terms of spirituality. We're just you know we're just aiming towards being everything. We're aiming towards uh, towards a lot of concepts of love and light and stuff like that. But we are somehow half of 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 every everything is being left out. You know so and and we are being told as human beings the ones that come from this place where we have been, we are being victimized. We're being told that we are needy, we're victims, we are this and that, you know, all these difficult uh, identifications are being thrown at us, uh, but it's not being acknowledged. So there is, there's actually a lot of strength in that and how much information that can be retrieved from that place. So for me, it's more like saying that uh, this world is, is being led by uh, specific forces that are actually telling us that we can't handle that. You know, that's why we judge you. That's why we put identities on you because it's not that you are actually wrong. It's, it's us that can't handle it. It's kind of that thing, you know? So when I started seeing this, this, this began healing me because, um, I was, I wasn't in that place of feeling so wrong anymore but it actually uh, gave me a lot of fuel to explore um, my my less beautiful parts, you know, the the ones that no one wants to talk about. And I've I just I I turned every stone in in myself, you know, and just looked into these parts that were so ugly in a way, or told to me that they were ugly. And I, being as I was, just you know accepting it for that but at the same time the universe is always very there for us and slowly but surely the universe itself and and universal order just showed me that something was off and it was that I've taken it to such lengths that I was being hurt 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 you know materially hurt uh like being abused and my money was you know gone and and whatever um because somehow there's also a need to accept that um you can't retrieve knowledge without getting dirty you know and it's not about the books it's not about uh, anything more than the experience in itself because you are making this you're creating like um like relationships with energies within you and without you, you know? So it's like, it's, it's real living beings, you know, it's, it's separate entities within and without us. And, and if we don't know how to, to move amongst that, we can get hurt, you know? So, so when I, I saw that and I realized that what was missing was that I was not in the picture. Um, things really turned for me because I realized that I was, I was being asked to put myself in the picture to seal everything so that I could, you know, um, protect myself also, not just, um, be as I, I, as I had been before, even if it had, it, it had its purpose, it had its, its, um, its meaning, uh, it, it was like that part of my journey was over and, and now I had to go to the other parts and take care of myself. And because the thing where that, that I, that I say always is yes, the method is all inclusion, but that also includes yourself. And when, when it includes yourself, there's so much that just simply falls off. So you don't even have to meddle with separating yourself from others because that will happen automatically because they won't be able to to level up to your to your level or you know i mean this is not about good and bad this is this is about differences so uh it's very important that 
that that comes through that this is not at all about good and bad because and I'm not even saying that to to make people feel good it's like it's really not about good and bad because it's about what we do with good and bad it's like this over 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 everything that is happening how do we handle it how do we what do we do with it you know so um so that's that's kind of the thing that I am uh, doing right now and uh, working towards, uh, and at the same time, cut, cutting myself from slack because um, I really feel that it's important uh, for these people that are actually not in, in positions of being seen or heard or anything that are actually very wise people that have been in very difficult lives and very difficult dynamics with other beings, uh, to cut them some slack also, you know, so I cut me some slack to be able to cut them some slack. And the thing is that to be able to retrieve this kind of information, you go through stuff. And, um, so my, my intention was to have everything ready and just link everything, uh, with this interview, but it's not the case. And, and I think that that's also important because, um, that, that just gives you the vulnerable part of this, uh, how, how real it is and how important it's it's beginning to be to unite to help each other to to find each other and to weave things together um yesterday i was talking to to a friend of mine and and he has he has really interesting uh inner work uh with um with words with language and and i feel that we all have different things we all have uh strengths that um, with with methods of of integrity, which is is not to to feel good about it. It's more integrity is important because when we have integrity, we close the gaps on our energy energetic field, so and that nothing can come in and nothing can come out if we don't want it to. So it's more about integrity. Is more about that actually. It's not. It's because for sentiments for the human being, of course, integrity is a good thing and and all of that. But it's not. It's not necessary. It's what I'm trying to say. It's like uh, integrity is just is just part of it because it seals you. It it protects you. It it makes you know who to trust, who not 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 to trust because you did the work because. Uh, you did your integrity work, mind, body, and soul. And that's that's like the language for integrity. It is mind, body, and soul. You have to think it, you have to have an intention, and you have to act on it. And if you just think it and speak about it as it has happened, it hasn't, you know, or it hasn't, it, maybe it has in some dimension, in some reality. But the thing that I always try to see and go towards is that everyone gets to be in. So. Um, some people are mentally steered, yet but they have a body, and some people are are heart steered and they have a body. So the common den- denominator would be the body. So we need to work with the body, you know. So uh, strengths in differences, great, you know. But uh, we need to find things that we have in common uh, to be able to to see what is what and how we work it. You know, so that that's when we can see. So if we would have the mind more steered and with the mind or more steered with the heart, we would be able to see with the body which part actually helps us more and which part we could use first, for instance, you know, Um, because, yes, I mean, everything is. Is, is is fluid and and there's no time frames and stuff like that but at the same time there is you know so this is always how i do things is i i am steered by my by my heart i think <laughs> but i feel that uh because it's so expansive so um it's like um i i find infinite ways to to see things i find it's i feel how the heart just keeps on uh finding ways to connect to others. Uh, and even, even in sometimes that would mean to not connect to others because that would maybe be connecting to bullshit or connecting to something that is not in your best interest and for your soul's best interest. But you have to be very careful because the soul is very different from the human self and the, the soul is more about uh, the whole picture. So am I fluey? 
am, am I flowing? Am I, am I expanding? It's more about that kind of language that the soul has. So, uh, and the fragmented parts of that is more for the human being. So nothing is actually wrong, but um, there are different kinds of um, results for it. So that is also something that I am bringing to this uh, project that I, I am going to start or have been starting up now. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I want to, to, to really give away or to teach about the tools that I found on my path and, and uh, give them away because I feel that it's important. At the same time, this project is also a very individual project because it is about you. It is about the self, uh, but in a more broad way, in a more expansive way. It's not about the human self only. It's about the soul self and how we find that soul self in the human experience uh, is more what I'm trying to help people do now is uh, because there's they're so different in their language. They're so different in their expressions, uh, but we can help either uh, by doing uh, different kinds of things. So that's kind of um, the essence of the thing. Uh, but at the same time, um, one thing that I, I began to accept now is that uh, for my own part, for my own self, it's uh, it's about that I am bringing forth uh, a new template, a new way of seeing um, the organic uh, and the mother essence. Um, so, and it's like this is an invitation to people because the mother has no identity today. She is only uh, in service to others. So. Uh, when we when we think about our mothers, we always think about how giving they are, how this they are, how they do things for us. But she doesn't have an actual identity, and this I can really identify with because I always, I never was anyone when I was a mother, when I was you know uh, that kind of uh, human self. And when I tried to become something more than just a mother, is when everything. Uh, just fall apart for me in society with uh, people, um, with everything but my soul. My soul just expanded and exploded uh, with the help of plant medicine. Also, I was able to see what was going on behind the veil uh, when I started to just shatter this, this perception of what a mother is and how everything uh, got first unbalance of it because everyone just reacted so strongly to my to my new choices, and um, it was it has been very hard for the people around me to to be able to grasp what I was doing because I didn't kind of know what I was doing. I was experimenting with it, but I just felt that uh, there has to be more to a mother than just uh, giving, you know. And and when I saw that, when I saw um, her essence, which is magnetic, and she she attracts uh, she attracts um, others towards her and embraces them to expand. Um, is where when I saw that okay, but um, we are having a human experience, and this is basically bringing like chaos into form. So she needs a new expression. She needs to be. Uh, with the essence of the mother, she needs to create an own identity, uh, which is why I see that um, this is something that I, that everyone could do. You know, everyone could redefine their own um, definition of what what a mother is, and by that, uh, because when you you need your actions, you need your thoughts, you need to to do things to to recreate this. Um, that would automatically bring forth the father energy, which I feel is very um, distorted right now. Uh, I don't feel that we have a divine masculine energy that is actually um, complete, at least. Uh, it feels like the, the thing that is really, really being asked of, uh, of us all right now is earth is is the tangible is actions is uh, the body 
all of this uh, because it's all up here. We're just it's just airy concepts about how we are going to change the world, but we don't know how to do it with our bodies. We don't know how to do it with our actions and using the the divine feminine or the mother or mother organic essence uh, or expression. We can actually do that because uh, she is the embodiment of integrity because she cares so, so much. And uh, she could not fool anyone because she knows that she will be fooling herself. So um, that just brings it to a very serious um, energy that uh, really is, is in it to understand everything because all are, are her children. But the problem is that no one, no one sees her as their mother, you know, because when we talk about the mother essence now, it's very vague. And she's not big. It's, it's anything but that. So um, she is very, very blunt. She's very um, straightforward. Uh, and this is not accepted in society. It's not, it's not okay to be chaotic as she is. But she has been everywhere. So, you know, uh, by being everywhere and by allowing and, and, and lending out your essence in that way, uh, things are going to happen, you know, but that's, that's how strong I think she is um, in her own inner knowing that she actually does this um, journey uh, towards the, the unknown because uh, at the same time, her magnetism in itself uh, tells her that she has to bring others towards her and that others has to be something that is not her so to expand you always need something different from yourself because otherwise you're just expanding within your own mind and and not um with others you're not expanding multiverse in as a multiverse you're expanding as a universe which is a is a big difference uh, especially in terms of bravery you know uh because it's it takes guts to to be able to to be in in another universe and explore it uh, and, and accept it as, as it is um, because it's going to feel strange. It's going to feel difficult. And that's where the inner work comes in, the, the, the dark, uh, the shadow work comes in into play because it's important because what we can't accept or see or, you know, uh, yeah, just accept it is something that we have to work within ourselves. It really is that way. But that doesn't mean necessarily that we have to accept it uh, close to us as our bodies or as human beings. We can't, you know, coexist with everyone because that's it's dangerous. And that's also important to understand that every realm has its own language, its own density. So this is something that I'm trying to to create as a form now. Um, it's it's in the beginning stages of the the formation of it but it's as an essential uh, idea, it's done. Uh, so, because I am it in that way for me, uh, I have done the work for myself and for my loved ones and retrieved what I need to know and feel that it's time for me to get this out because I know how it has helped me and how it has helped me to expand and be the person that I am and understand the things that I do because would you know me for uh, five years ago, for instance, like I'm, I'm completely different because I didn't think that I even had access to my own brain. So, um, of course that shows in very, in very different ways and, and, um, not, not that beautiful uh, ways, you know? So, uh, I, I was looking into uh, conversations that I had on another Facebook page that I, that I had before and how open I was about everything, how giving I was, how, but it was like too much, you know, it was like uh, not too much for me or how I see things, but for this world. And this is also something we have to accept is that we are different and we are here to coexist. So uh, we have to learn about boundaries. We have to learn about uh, all these things that are not uh, in our, our organic essence, but they are in our artificial essence and we are part of both. So um, it's like just 
the thing and and the purpose of this is just allowing myself to bring forth the inner work of the organic how he how she has has done it and um just you know um offer it offer it as as another another thing you know as as a continuation of what has been done uh, before. This is not about saying that that is wrong at all. It's just another interpretation of of, of spirituality and and that part. So I bring another part, and um, yeah. but I do believe that there are a lot of people that actually has this part that I have also, uh, but they just don't know it because it's so uh, covered up with feelings of being bad or. Uh, in the wrong and in in some kind of way so uh, there's a lot of shaming involved in this they don't want it to come forth you know because it's very potent that the forces we're talking about they're like um, infinitely strong you know so just uh, it's 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 a real game changer as I said because um, it's, it's so vast it's so vast and it has done the work so um and it can compare itself to someone that has not done the work as all also, you know, we need to get out of this kitty feelings of feeling resentment towards others that have done whatever it just is what it is. And, um, the thing that I, I, I feel that is very important to, to highlight is that we need both. We need, we need both extreme polarities and the more extreme there are, well, the, the, the deeper you go. So, uh, would you want to know? You 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 have to get into into it and and actually do the work and and you know and get to know yourself in in a different way and and be friends with your energies within you and entities within you uh, because when you become friends with your entities within you uh, they can transform with you and and they act they they give you their magic uh, yeah. which magic is very I mean it's 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 a it's a great thing to have. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I think you hit on a, a, a word uh, that resonates a, a few things. Um, you know, the shame that's mm -hmm. been put into place, you know, many, many uh, years ago. Um, yeah. and, um, and, you know, they one of the things that you hear a lot of times in, in, in the public is shame on you. You know, they, in the politics and in, in news, you know, that's one of the um, very popular words. Shame on you. Shame on yeah. you. <laughs> and uh, and so, yeah, there we are living in a culture where we, you know, we don't want to show our vulnerability. We don't want to show these, you know, human parts, the, you know, uh, insecurities or you know, other things that, you know, um, out of fear that maybe we might get judged or, you know, uh, this and that. And one of the things that you mentioned, um, the word uh, energy, I think that's important because um, rather than make those things, for example, sometimes I may have a certain judgment that comes up or just a fear and my reaction to that might be oh no i got to figure things out <sighs> you know kind of find a way to um put myself on a higher level in in in, in some in some way you know to make myself appear intellectual appear this appear that or you know um it's just something having to do with the mind to try to figure things out and because this, because I've made this wrong, you know, and I've yeah. made this uh, separate, you know, I, I've made, so there's this inner conflict, this, uh, you know, resistance, you know, ultimately I made myself uh, the, the enemy. And so when I'm hearing you talking and these things still come up, you know, in the conversation, you know, I might be listening and then this, this thing, ah, uh, and then <clears throat> as I'm hearing you, there's this reminder, okay, just kind of look at that, be with it, and um, without judgment, uh, feel it. And so 
this is kind of we we're able to um, kind of be scientists in a way and use ourselves yes. as the subject of our experiments is what I'm hearing you say because then if you're doing it here then you can offer it uh, with you know with other people so then when someone else is you know talking or or whatever you know I, I'm having this relating to someone else. And I could notice, am I getting kind of caught up on, you know, the mind stuff and missing the that sort of divine element, you know, that's there within, you know, every single person that is sort of needed. It helps me expand because if if I'm closed off to that, then I'm closed off to this part of myself um, as well. So am, am I kind mm -hmm. of... Is is that some of what you're saying? I mean, yes, because uh, to expand, you need something that is not you, right? Because otherwise, you will just be expanding your mind, your your own concepts, your own experiences, uh, your own perceptions of life and reality and existence. Yeah. But when something else enters. Uh, that is completely not you, you know, the, I mean, the more different, the better uh, as a soul, you know, uh, but of course, as a human being, it gets difficult because when it's not you, it's dark, right? Because you don't know about it. So, um, but that's when the bravery comes in, in, you know, that's when we start to see the differences between us, which is also important. You know, I feel that we have worked so hard on ourselves that we can actually be able to now see uh, people for what they are, for what they have done, for what they have created. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we need we need to be in touch with different to be able to expand those dark places within ourselves that hasn't expanded either. You know, so yeah. but we need we need something completely not not us to be able to do that. Because otherwise you're expanding your own mind. You're not, you're not actually allowing the universe, the other universe to come into your sphere because you are cloaking it with your own perceptions that about, oh, this is, it's like this, it's like that. You're talk to you. If you're talking to someone, what I realized is that majority of people always uh, think of what they think of what they are hearing. I'll ask a question. You know, one of, one of the things that I wanted to know is, what would you say is your your highest intention, or so if like if you can, if you had a vision for what the world would be, and you had to kind of uh, set a GPS, you know, like you're doing a, a a car, and you set the GPS for how you would envision the the world to be, what would it what would that look like? Well, um, it, for me, it's it's a very tangible reality, to be honest. I, I've seen this uh, to be very possible. And uh, it, it's like bringing balance back, uh, bringing truth back, you know, all these um, things that we haven't been able to see, you know, the, the hidden parts, everything just unveiled. Uh, so that we can uh, set straight the balance again and and justice, you know, um, because once we do that, uh, everything unfolds as, you know, oh, everything was part of everything in a way, you know, even the things that were not, uh, it's just an expression of something else. So, um, so it is, you know, because we need, we need the differences to be able to see ourselves. We need to know what other things are to know what we are. Um, so I think that what I would envision for this world is creating these bridges, you know, creating these bridges of understanding so that we can, um, not be ashamed of ourselves anymore, not be ashamed of our paths. And just instead, if if we have been overly confident, for instance, maybe start exploring the the more humble parts of ourselves. And if we have been very humble, uh, explore the more confidence of our uh, parts of ourselves. Just because we are trying to bridge ourselves first to be able to bridge others, the thing that we 
we don't where, where we don't get along is because we don't get along with ourselves within ourselves because there are parts that are missing to be understood. So once we understand that about ourselves, we can allow others to be as they are and and have their own part in reality, um, which just makes up the whole. So um, I actually believe very strongly in in another world, in a new world. Um, I think that this part is like, um, for some people, it's like very kindergarten feeling to it because it's not supposed to be this difficult. You know, it's it's we're ma- we're making it more difficult than it should be uh, because we're scared and because we we blame or we not blame, but we we judge. We judge what it is. So we judge it as good or bad uh, instead of saying, "Well, this is pleasant and this is not." You know, seeing things as pleasant or not is more inclined towards truth than saying good or bad because good or bad is very um individual perspectives kind of thing you know so um i think that um what i am seeing is that this part is is like is the easy part in a way or it's the hard part but it shouldn't be that hard and once we overcome this part the things that i've been shown is actually how we began working together, you know, how we dismantle all these feelings of being bad or, or less, or, you know, just seeing our strengths, seeing, uh, the polarities of our strengths, the good and the bad of our strengths that, you know, the weaknesses and the strengths in themselves. Um, because we all have them, we all have them, and not uh, no one is just good or just bad or just strong or just weak. So, uh, but we just explore different parts of ourselves. So, uh, I feel that this is very important right now to just you know uh, start understanding this from another type of level, uh, so that we can you know exhale, <laughs> exhale, yeah. and and allow everything to be part of everything you know this is yeah because when when we work with the soul and we don't allow others to come in we're not allowing our soul to expand so it doesn't matter what you think is good or bad it's just not expanding you so it it you know i mean yes of course you can create a, a small utopia world for just a few but your soul will not agree on that anyway you know because a soul is a soul and a soul is is here to to expand you know to it has been in contraction for a very long time so i would say that that part is kind of done and now we need to expand you know so even so you know it's not about just expanding it's also about contracting but if we look back on history in our lives uh, in individually most of us have just uh, contracted and just, you know, stayed in and just, you know, with our perceptions and, and, and opinions about things. So now we need to explore more, expand that and just realize that, okay, but what I know, it's not enough for me anymore. You know, it's not enough. I need others to get to know myself better. I need, I I need others and I need to learn how to listen. You know, listening is so important because when we learn how to listen, we learn how to listen to different parts of ourselves. You know, it's it's a communion within and without, you know, it's it's a respect, it's, it's expansion, (laughs) you know, it's, it's, it's beautiful. And, and it's what our soul is asking us to do. So instead of just having these points of reference within our minds of how reality is supposed to be, once another human being enters our life, and and our consciousness we expand together and that's when we get these broader pictures and we don't hurt in the same way either you know Mm. we don't hurt because we see a broader picture we don't see ourselves as separate identities um we don't need to hurt in that way you know we have these broader ways of seeing things where everything fits into everything and you know everyone has exactly the ones that need to come to them because we're doing the work and we're you know raising our vibration and and connecting and vibrating and magnetizing ourselves to others uh, to expand you know yeah. so 
But when we do that in in a in an energy of contraction, well, we get very dense. So mm-hmm. we attract that instead, you know. Mm-hmm. So, but of course, two dense people will just become more dense, you know. <laughs> So, so we need different, we need different, you know, a lot of people just want to be with their own kind, you know, oh, this feels good. I'm just going to stay put here, you know, but you don't expand with that because if you're spending time with just your kind, you're not expanding because you actually have the same opinions about everything and you can expand some, of course, uh, but not in the way that you will do with something that is completely different from you. But at the same time, I also, I feel the saying that um, I've been feeling this energy of the martyr, of the one that, you know, that just went into everything just without even thinking about it. And I do, I do see myself in that compartment and that place a bit, um, but I feel that that kind of is coming to an end. It's like um, it was needed at, at its time. Um, for different kinds of reasons, because it has been such so much um, resistance towards change uh, that ra- radical decisions has has been made because of that. And I, for instance, would always enter um, dynamics with relationships and stuff like that, just telling everything about myself and just you know and being judged by it because people would say like well you're so stupid because now everyone knows everything about you and and they can hurt you and that is true but at the same time um once they know they are put against them up against themselves you know Uh, and well let me ask you this question uh when you told them everything about yourself like in relationships did they still act surprised when those things came up or where was no, um no think, um it was um or did they still i should say did they were, were was there a sort of judgment or blame sort of no uh, i mean thing? the people the, the people that i have been uh put up against are uh people that you know they were helping me to heal something within myself and it was self love i needed to 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 accept that I'm also a human being and not just a soul. Uh, so it's been very harsh lessons about the material world and, uh, you know, a lot of stuff. But um, I just feel that when I, when I told them about myself, uh, it was like um, they kind of pretended that they didn't hear it so much or it just, you know, just entered somehow. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, so, and then... Um, but their actions, of course, spoke against uh, themselves, you know. So people that spoken about wanting to help me or being there for me um, and and haven't, uh, well, they just, you know, this is a very difficult thing for me to speak about because I do know that this is not popular uh, for the ones that have actually been in contact with me. Uh, but this is how I did it. You know, this, I just was completely open about myself, completely open about my wounds, completely open about my life and just, you know, putting that energy and that me, uh, in their hands, you know? Um, yeah. And I think people, subconsciously, it was subconscious because yeah. I didn't at the time, I didn't think it. It's not that I, oh, I'm going to do this. But mm. it was something within me that was just, you know, um, just pulling me to 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 be like that, to tell about myself, to be completely open uh, about myself, you know. And and of course, I've always had this, this deep feeling of wanting to connect to others because my soul wanted to expand. So that would be seen as me putting myself in the hands of others, but I kind of wasn't, but I kind of needed to, you know, so um, yeah. because I needed to explore that universe uh, to understand it. And because I'm retrieving parts of myself, you know, because it, it, unfortunately, it's the energy that started this with me it kind of travels in diff- different peoples and, and it uh, transforms also. Um, 
but you know, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to get to meet this energy ever completely transformed, but maybe, I mean, I don't know, but I haven't yet, you know, so, uh, up until now it just hurt me. So, but at the same time on a soul level, it, it has been incredibly, uh, you know, beneficial for me because, um, and that's where I see that we are all working together. That's where I can see that everything is part of everything and how the difficult energies on this earth actually are most, uh, the most, you know, the most sacrificial ones. They sacrifice themselves uh, to be like they are because that that actually uh, makes it, we, that we don't have to be like them, you know? So it's a gift for me. I, I am very grateful to that energy because I don't, if they are who they are, I, I'm not, you know, and, and I don't, I don't agree with how they are. So I can see myself, you know, so it is a gift, it, but on a, on a human level, we also have to acknowledge that we are also working on a human level. And especially if the human has some kind of knowledge or understanding of the more broader spectrums of of reality and the cosmos, uh, that human being is put up, put up against itself, you know? So, um, I, I, sometimes I, I smirk when I see friend requests on my, on my Facebook, because I see that people, that person is wanting to know something more, maybe not as a person, but maybe as a soul, you know, and because I write things that really put you up against yourself, and I don't do it to be mean. I do it to help your soul to expand, you know? So, um, because I, I want to, <laughs> to be able to be in a, in a world as souls because everything gets so much more interesting and so much more expansive and progressive. And we can, you know, we can unite with the artificial and the organic together, uh, because we work both our parts within ourselves. So mm. we are able to, to do this outside of ourselves as well, you know, so collaboration is, is at hand. Everything is at hand because we can handle it, you know, but we have to be able to handle it. So we can't just say we handle it and we don't want to go to the other polarity just because it doesn't feel good, you know? So, and, and recognition is important about this also recognition about what we see, about what we see in others, what, because when we see another human being in their own light is when we see our own light within ourselves. So it's always this, this mirroring and, and paradoxes and, and all of that stuff, because everything is kind of upside down in this material realm, you know, so we have to be able to, to turn things outside in and upside down to make some sense out of it. Your heart is going to tell you when something is in sense because it's, it's the broader picture that just can take and everything in and just make a whole sum of it. But when you find, you know, equations where not everything is in, you can sh- see that something is not, you know, it's not essentially you, you know, your, your equation is not as essentially you, something else is in, in that uh, equation uh, that is separating something from, from something. So, um, yeah, <laughs> something like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. And I, that's one of the things that I appreciate about you and your, you talked about sharing, um, so openly, you know, uh, about yourself and, and just putting it out there. And, and I think, and, you know, like showing those things that maybe some people, might not want to show or you know because a lot of times people post all of the good sort of spiritual lingo you know i'm in bliss all the time and everything is great and and um but like sharing when i read your post there's this feeling of okay it's a it does two things part of it is you know i notice my own judgment coming up like okay you know like my my own like sort of uh thing and i i noticed that and i think to be able to appreciate the uh you know um kind of view at your the essence you have i for me or anybody in in, in the you know for that manner you have to be able to i think 
catch yourself first when when the judgment comes up and and then put it on yourself and notice that oh, okay it's i'm doing i'm avoiding something about me you know there's something here that is in is in resistance and once that kind of go you know once that is settled then it's like oh okay like thank you know i can appreciate this and think because that's the message that you're given is yes. okay just look at that relax uh with it you know so and but i think it's effective because there's a level of consciousness from which you do it from so mm-hmm. you know I think that plays a part that there is this th- there is this already expansion and consciousness within you that all of this is not just haphazardly you know thrown out and you know there's a there's a consciousness there you know so it's and I recognize that very much because there's there's a lot of paradox in in what you're saying so there is the this point of it but then there's this you know like like the negative and then the quote unquote positive so there's there's both sides of it and i think it's you know going back to what you you talked about um sort of the structures that are in place now where we're sort of cemented into this sort of, uh, you know, and I don't always like to use this word, maybe it's overused, or maybe not the, I don't want to put it, in, make it a negative, but in this sort of tribalistic um, sort of existence that we're in, um, in the material world, in society, where we, like Democrats and Republicans, or this group and that group, and then we reinforce um, each other so that we stay you know, um, kind of fixed into this way of, into this reality. And anything that's opposed to that gets canceled out. You know, we even have a name for it nowadays, cancel culture, you know, it's like one part of that, you know, anybody says anything that is revealing or that is opposed to what the, the social norms are, even if they're doing it in a way to kind of openly reveal something and they're trying to get some sort of um uh therapeutic value out of it you know kind of like sharing themselves you know this is something that i did this is something that that's about something about myself that i want to share openly um where they may have kept it hidden now it's so difficult to do that because a lot of times you'll get canceled, you know, in in, in today's society, you know, people will judge and condemn, especially if it's things that are, that are kind of uh, taboo, you know? And um, so what you're um, talking about, and I think what you're trying to do takes a lot of courage to, to do that. And it is kind of swimming upstream, you know, swimming against, swimming against the the uh, the current and um and that's difficult you know because mm-hmm. like for me when i i'm trying to do that in my little ways not as much as as you you know i'm still kind of more cemented in in my safety things and uh um you know i'm kind of using different character like alter personalities and, a, and i created a whole nother show to be able to to do this sort of thing uh, but, <laughs> yeah. so um and what was my point with maybe i didn't have a point but um it takes it takes okay this was the point uh, and I and I think maybe other people maybe experience this and maybe you could talk about this, but when, because it is related to the work that you're offering and um, yeah. maybe you could help, you know, maybe in your work, you will help people to become aware of what they may come against, you know, some of the fears and some of the things and you probably have a process with helping them to, and one of the things that many of us will deal with, I assume, is the feeling of shame and guilt, you know, which has been kind of put in place to sort of control 
you know, and I'm not blaming anyone because, you know, those people were, you know, um, had it as well, you know, uh, controlled as well. Uh, the other thing is the idea of punishment. Um, it seems to be like something that is woven into the fabric of this reality that if I go against the social norms, that I'm going to get uh, punished. You know, yeah. and some people are punished. Yes, you know, we so, are. Yeah, so it's not like yes, a far out uh, theory. So, you know, for someone who's dedicated to to truth, um, who's interested in learning and doing this work uh, with you, who's also dedicated to the betterment of the human race and the world in general, because I don't think what you're talking about benefits only humans i mean that's why it's like the earth realm because it's it's earth you know it's you know this and you talk a lot about energies and and um animals and and you know the environment and and everything else so um anyway maybe you could just kind of whatever comes to you <laughs> we're caretakers of of this planet right so um, that's when, wh why, uh, when I was seeing people, you know, being very into helping uh, plants or animals, most animals, because there's a lot of animal, um, uh, activity with, with these people that are, you know, um, active in, in, in those kinds of, uh, fields. Um, <clears throat> I just, I just felt that, um, we're not seeing we're not seeing things as 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 they are in a way at some level um because we are in this together you know so when we are in this together um there's no above or below us in a way you know so a dog chooses a dog life you know and most likely it chooses the entire path and who it's going to meet and and everything um so it's not a victim, you know, it's like a display for the human being because the disease in itself is most in the human being because we have a mind, you know, a mind that is creating a lot of separation because of how we perceive things. So plants and animals, for instance, they are not here to help us. We are not here to help them. We are we're collaborating together, you know, we're, we're coexisting. We, we are different parts of the whole, uh, plant medicine is one very big, important part of this in that manner, because, you know, people always, uh, tell me, you know, I don't need plants to, to, to heal myself, or I don't need plants to be enlightened. Well, they're not there for you. You know, is they're part of a bigger plan? So it's not about, because the human being thinks, so highly of itself that it thinks that it has dominion over everything, you know, so it can actually feel and think and say that it needs or that it doesn't need. Well, it's here, you know, so it's not a matter of if you need it or not. It's a matter of that we are in this together. And that really creates a whole different dynamic uh, amongst us, you know, with plants, with animals, with ourselves, because they're comes in this deep respect and understanding that we all are choosing our paths and we are all contributing to help in some way, you know? So a dog maybe shows you your, you know, your features that you don't like about yourself or that you love about yourself through a dog, you know? So, but it's still, it's part of the whole. It's, 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 it's a service from the dog to, to its its owner so that you can see yourself. But it's not about when you start saving the dog, you're basically saying that it's well, it did something wrong, you know, it's like it's not capable of of you know choosing its own path or whatever. And it's also, I mean, I guess it has a soul. I mean, I've seen my dog as an angel <laughs> once, you know. So um and I feel her like that. I feel that she she really did a lot of things for me to wake up. You know, she she put herself in positions where where people were very nasty to her, so that I would wake up and see my environment around myself. You know, so um, and these things 
are not spoken of. You know, it's not, it, it's never about we being in this together. It's always about this upper or lower, or this does this for me and this does that. Well, it's not, that's not how we treat nature. That's not how we treat animals. That's not how we treat each other. Because we're doing all of these things and we're separating within us. So if we are seeing ourselves separated from a dog, we are seeing ourselves separated from within as well. So it's not beneficial for the soul at all, you know? So these concepts really need to take not, you know, they're not, they don't need to go away, but they can just, you know, make room for something more because these concepts are just in a loop right now. We're just looping around and we're not, we're not being able to, to do more about it. I mean, I've talked to people that have become enlightened and, and they can say that they are, you know, everything is great, but they are seeing wars in, in our planet and, you know, and things that are really, really, um, unjust uh, but they say you know yeah but i'm everything so everything is cool you know because everything serves its purpose but you can't say that about an individual your heart will tell you that you know your, your heart will tell you that you can only be another when you are not so these paradoxes are very important because it is a language in itself how this expresses itself and creates these new connections and creates these new possibilities for this third energy that so many people uh, look for, which is like resembled to the Christ energy because it's the third energy from the mother and mother and the father and the child. So, um, but we always need this extreme polarities either within us or without us, but we also, we, we need them because we are creating something completely new. So it's, it, you know, if, if we are the I am, which is more about, for me at least, the human self or, you know, or the perception of, of the broad, the broadest ex expression of, of ex ex existence, but through a human being, um, then yes, everything, we are everything, you know, but it's not because we're potentially everything you know it's like speaking of our essence of what we are capable of creating but you need to put in the effort you know it's not just going to unfold itself if you have been acting all in, in separate ways not everything is not just going to turn out and be one you know because that is not the reality that you have created for yourself so it's an invitation more than than a fixed state uh, and, and, and this is, you know, so the extreme polarity from the I am would be the, we are, you know, so, and the, we are is, is more about the soul because, or that soul part of expansion, because it's, you know, it's, um, it's creating an identity through what you have done through your integrity with others. So how you have connected, how many universes you have access to by not wanting to have access to them, simply just by caring, you know, you can't do things because you want something back. The universe sees these things, you know, it's, you can't fool anything. It's like some things are just like they are and, you know, you can't, there's order is what I'm trying to say. There is order and you don't, you can't fool this. So you can only, because you can't fool yourself, basically, you know, that, that's how highly the universe thinks of you. So, so you can, you can't do that. <laughs> so I, what I feel is just that it's really time to make room for that new thing to enter, you know, this, we are kind of identity, uh, and the, I am identity and the, I am identity, I feel should be more inclined towards the, we are, and the, we are should be more inclined toward the, I am, which is I, what I am doing right now is I am going towards my, I am my, my self identity, my, my own form and box, you know, because it was all chaos and, and people were actually beginning to tell me that, you know, like I felt for a very long time that I have like, that I smelled bad or something because people would behave that that way around me. But of course, if you if you meet up with a person that has so much within them um, in terms of universes, but also not just universes, but you know, unprocessed universes. And I have to be very honest about this because I do know that 
it's like I've been like a trash can and people just, you know, shove their, their own energies that they didn't want to, to handle in me. But of course, if I don't look at them, they, they do come off bad, you know? So, uh, so I've been working with this a lot during, um, this Mercury retrograde to really, um, find balance within, within my own pain and within, because I know that it's not my pain in a way, uh, because it's a separate entity within me that is in pain and has difficulties because it's, it's not that it's in pain, but it's, it's expression of this entity is pain. So I'm sitting with that and allowing that to, you know, to express itself in whatever way, uh, so that it can feel, you know, accepted and, and change with me or, or not, you know, it's up to it, but, um, that's kind of what I, what I, what I do because it, there's so much, you know, there's a lot of people that feel very wrong. Somehow I think also it's important, you know, to, to be able to be strong enough to say, well, because when you say no, but everything is fine, or I, I did not do that, or it's not my fault. Yes. I mean, it's protective, but it's not expansive, <laughs> you know, if you can't explain to yourself why you are not in, in the right, there's something that is still missing, you know, and this is for me about growing up, you know, this is the real essence of growing up is taking a accountability and responsibility for what you're seeing and can accept and can not explain to yourself. Uh, there's something more to do there, you know, so, and that's what I've been doing this Mercury retrograde. And I really found it extremely difficult, but it's so profound and so transformative um, to be able to come in contact with this deep ugliness that I've been feeling others felt about me and, and just, you know, seeing the, the other polarity of that and seeing both actually. So I've been very much in the, in the bad part of the experience. Um, but only to also, of course, be able to see, uh, start to see some kind of positive traits about that as well, you know? So, but it's, it's hard. And, for me, my healing goes into the material realm because I've never been in the material realm. Basically, I never existed in the material realm in a way because it was not me. It was all these other concepts and, and opinions about me that actually pushed me so far that I created a system to be able to explain um, why this it, it was not me. You know, that, wow. that was like, that's the whole why my why is because everyone was telling me things about me and and I was at some point even you know making the best out of what I was being told about me you know just owning it and just you know doing it my thing uh but you know not even that was being um seen as something good you know so just the abuse continued and that they you know, all of that shit just continued. So that's when I said to myself, well, I have to, you know, I have to be happy with myself. I have to, because I, I am, you know, when people tell me you have to love yourself, I get sad, you know, because that means that people don't get me, you know, it's, I do love myself, but in an, in another way, you know, in this soul spectrum way, I, but I do agree on that. I have a lot of lack of self-love in my human self, which is what I'm working on, because I believe that we need it all. You know, it's not about taking away anything. It's about adding, adding more to everything so that we can expand even more. So for me, it's about contraction right now instead of expansion. <laughs> um, but I think that majority is, is through, it ha has to go through expansion right now because uh, we have, you know, adopted so much concepts about everything that we need to start uh, looking into what is what, and uh, we need others to do that. So, um, I just feel that this is an incredibly potent, uh, moment in time right now where everything is available to us, uh, without the wounds, without, because we did that work, you know, without the, the pity feelings and, and, and because it stops us, you know, it stops us to, from expanding and progressing together. 
So, I mean, it's an experience. You can have it. You can, you can take care of your pity feeling. You can take care of your sadness. Uh, just don't get stuck there. You know, even, even when, when you are in it, I mean, for me, I've never been depressed ever. And I realized that it's not about not me being, you know, having the possibility to be uh, depressed. I mean, I, I can be depressed, but I just didn't allow myself to be depressed. So for me, my depression this time was a gift to me because I've never been depressed. I've always been this strong, you know, hard headed person that just, you know, just does what I have to do. Um, but it, because I was being told by my parents and my own perceptions of reality that reality was supposed to be in some specific way and that was my inability to allow the artificial intelligence enter my sphere i couldn't see it it was not that i wa- i didn't want to see it i was looking for it but i didn't have the ability to see it until now until this mercury retrograde when i saw it and i realized that i've been adopting uh, concepts of my mother who lived uh, in the 70s uh, when there was civil wars going on in, in South America, that kind of energy and that kind of reality, I was adopting to a life in Sweden where we have all, we have everything here, you know? So it was, you know, I was kind of accepting to be in this in this reality of not having anything, of being able, of having to work really, really hard to just have the slightest, uh, which I'm changing now. I'm just, I feel that I'm, I'm done with that part. I, I know that I can work hard. I know that I can get dirty and I want to experience the other part because it's, it's, it's part of my experience, you know? So it's no drama in it. It's just, it's just the wholesome, a spectrum of of everything and i'm also part of that so i get to experience that as well and i feel that there are people that are in the same position as i am you know so it's just seeing your other extreme polarity to know where you have to go next you know so you can't just always be in this safe spot you can't just always be in this feel good spot and and right now there will be people and persons to hold your hand when we other people has have done it very very alone and and without any kind of support or help you know it's like it's been very difficult it's not it's no game in that way it is a game <laughs> it's game of life but the game of life is it's serious you know that's that's when you win it it's like when you get that it's not a game it's real life and you're playing with real lives. You're playing with real emotions. You're playing with all this real stuff. And you're calling it an illusion even, you know? So imagine something real being called an illusion. It's going to be sad, you know? So it's just, it's, I just have this way. And, and I want to offer people a method to be able to befriend everything within us without uh, and it doesn't, it's not this love and light energy about just everything being light. It's quite the contrary. It's also very dark because you get to know how to walk amongst that also. You know, it's very important to know where to put your feet when you're in complete darkness. So um, it's, for me, it's very interesting. I don't, I don't understand uh, how anything could be uh, more important than this part in in reality right now. So, um, and it's applicable to anything. It's applicable to anything in society. It's applicable to um, relationships. It's applicable to family constellations. It's applicable to basically all uh, because it's the organic essence and it's in everything. And it's time to bring forth that mother energy her ways, uh, to use her ways, but to, to make something more out of it because the mother energy is screaming for self-identity. That's basically what is happening right now. No one recognizes her, you know, no one recognizes her as being part of the whole, but everyone is using her and everyone is using her for the benefit of them they think, but they're kind of actually not doing that. So they're like really, really, um, getting themselves into deep, deep energetical problems, uh, which will backfire, 
you know, so, um, it's it's not it's not advisable to use her essence and not be able to speak of it or know how it works or just you know just use it it's not you don't do it like that you don't just use something and just throw it away and just use something and throw it away and that hurts her you know because everything is part of her you know so everything is her child so um if you throw something away that's her child you know so um, it's, she, she can create by herself, you know, she doesn't need, uh, m anything more than herself because she, she has senses, you know, she senses and that's when she can, you know, she recreates stuff. She sees things out of other perspectives, uh, where someone is bad. She can see that uh, she, that person is good, uh, because she sees the whole spectrum because she cares basically, you know? And when you care, you're going let you're going to do things that are very irrational to people that don't care. Basically, it's like and caring for me is the essence of consciousness because it's like a glue. When you care, truly care about people, truly care about yourself, truly care about anything, uh, you will have results because you won't give up. You won't give up because you care. So it's like, uh, but you have to care genuinely. You know, you can't just care because of you or you know there's there's another you that is waiting to be explored and it's this we kind of thing but um and that's in in, in the expansion area but yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you, and you, you talk about the just a little bit of clarification on the mother energy um yes. what exactly is the mother and like is it for people that might not know um is it like, are you talking about like mothers, like human mothers, or is this energy that, is it, does it have to do with male and female, or is it something that, um, is it something else, or a combination? It's a, a combination, I guess. Um, for me, it began through my own life, and, and to see how how that uh, was being shown for me and and how I was seeing the mother uh, programming and and how I was and doing these parallels and seeing uh, what it was. But at the same time, it's it's an energy because it's it's in nature, it's it's everywhere. Um, and it's, you know, it's in basically in everything because human beings have have the same energy also, you know, so we all have access to her, you know, we all have uh, access to the organic essence, uh, but we need to take care of it. You know, we are caretakers of this planet. So we need to learn how to take care of it and how we take care of it is by acknowledging her and her language, which is all inclusive. So it is this extreme polarity is walking the both paths to find the middle, find life, find purpose, uh, because it is between those two, you know, so she wants us to go both ways and that's how you honor her. You know, it's not about, uh, it, that's how you find your, no, your new self identity as a mother or as a female or as a male, it's an energy, you know, we all have access to her because we all come from a womb. So, um, everyone is is invited you know everyone has their own uh, perception of what a mother is from uh, your programming and everyone has a perception of what a mother is through your heart you know through your your senses and through your you know history and what you have seen and what you have not seen and you know just if you care you're going to just bring her forth i guess you know it's like uh, so it's both, it's both, but in women, it's, it's important because us women are, we're losing our essence. There's a lot, there's very little people right now that have the feminine essence as, as her organic essence, you know, it's because these extremes really talk about infinity because the more extreme you go the more bold you are but also you kind of know that you can do it you know so that's when you have tapped into your infinite energy so you can do it but if you don't if you haven't tapped into that infinity of yourself how are you going to be able to explore something as extreme as the thing that you're being invited into it's impossible so that's when you can see 
this person or woman, she's not in her infin infinity mindset or or heart space. So she she is more in her artificial energy because she's in fear and she's in, in contraction and closed off and separated from the rest, you know. Uh, so, so it's also important to understand that not every female is feminine not every male is is masculine you know it's it's very it's how we behave basically that's why i always go back to the body because the body and the actions speak of what the mind and the intentions had done together to to put you know to put it in action so um it's it's like i mean i know i know it's hard for a lot of people to to accept this <laughs> Sorry, my dog. Queen, queen, queen. Sorry, um, but um, but it's important, you know, because we have worked so hard uh, to get here that we are actually capable of doing this now. So because the, the inner work that I see that people have been doing right now is has been preparing us for this stage, for this we are, for this weaving for this combining the artificial and the organic together, mm. uh, all of that. And that's when the mother and the father will approach by themselves, you know? But what I saw was that it's the mother that needs the attention right now. And the father will simply just approach when he will, because he will be working towards helping her to be seen, you know? So, um, yeah. And because she gives life and she has done so much, you know, and we haven't been able to honor her in her essence. And I feel that it's, that's a deep pain in, in her. I can identify with that as well. And this is also something about talking about the, the, the individual journey, which is something that I really am, am offering is to be able to see yourself energetically through your actions through this uh, all inclusion method, um, through the integrity, to to know yourself as a soul, you know. So, because when you get to that space, there's very little that can pull you down. You know, it's very little that that can defeat you, because you are in your infinite essence, working with that. At the same time, you're working with your limits that come from the artificial intelligence. Uh, that has the boundaries and the protection uh, for this world, but on the other in the other realm of the ethereal realm, you have to have an open heart. You have to be infinite. You have to be bold. You know because that's where um, things things are are different from this reality where everything is dense. Everything is not dense in the ethereal. So they have just simply different different expression, expressions, and we need both of them to be able to handle a human experience. So it's, yeah, I mean, and the, the individual part of the journey is something very exciting to me um, because I feel that there's so many people right now that know nothing of who they are, of how beautiful they are, of how potent their souls are, of how many universes they carry within them. And this is something that can be seen. This is something that you can show people when you see it and others, you, you listen, you can see how they talk, especially if they go this back and forth from extreme polarities. You can see that they try to always integrate uh, more into, into the whole and makes creates justice from that. You know, they're not separating, they're not seeing, oh, but this is bad and this is good. Uh, but using bad and good as 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 tools to to see something bigger, to see to be able to to expand themselves uh, as human beings into souls. So, like basically reincarnation of the soul in a way, you know, but in in a more tangible uh, way that you can see it and explain it and and touch it and you know feel it and really see the difference. Of, of being a human being that is limited and of being a human being that is infinite. So that, that part is very important because, um, and it's very delicate for me because I am in that process of, 
of being seen and and I've never been seen before and I've always tried to be the least seen possible and everything is just you know toward inclining towards me being seen and heard and it's difficult you know so that's when we can also bring in astrology. Astrology has a lot of different uh, things that are important where we can see what our soul chose to do in this life um, to transcend it, to transcend it and be able to be free from that so that we can do the other work that is coming that is magic, basically, because magic is just, you know, through darkness to light. And, and accessing everything that darkness has, which is incredible. Darkness is a very potent uh, energy um, that is, you know, it provides you with so much if you, if you are bold enough to do it, you know, but you can't do it because you want something back, but, you know, that's just how it is. So, um, but yeah, I, I feel that this, this next part is about creating uh, consciously with magic. I mean, I think that just so much can change even, uh, you know, the, the material realm, it feels like it's locked in a way it's hijacked, uh, no! well, it's, sorry. Uh, it's like, um, uh, how can I say, uh, I've been seeing in, in ceremonies, for instance, uh, that, um, our appearances are not fixed, for instance, that we have different Mafalda, go in. that we have different uh, you know we we look different uh, in um, in in ceremonies. It's because I think that we are seeing our actions. Mafalda, go in. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna take my dog out. She's like okay. freaking out. Sorry. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they wanted so, to join the conversation. <laughs> she wants a cat. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so so I, I I really am a firm believer of uh, that matter is not fixed. So there's so much for us to explore, to to understand, to change together. Uh, for a more uh, unified field and balanced field and with justice where everything falls into place, basically. Uh, it's not impossible. It's just it's just a matter of seeing what is beneficial for us, if it simply is the human being that is beneficial for us, or if we actually feel that we have done that so much that we can bring in the soul in a more conscious way not just um because the soul is always present of course but um up until now it has done quite the crazy things you know to just retrieve the 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 understanding of what we needed to do so but i know as a soul myself i i feel very you know happy and and excited about this ne next next uh stage in life you know so and i think that a lot of people will feel this as well because it would just it would just you know turn the page and then it's something completely new and and these feelings of feeling less and and more and it will just be so insignificant because we will want to be able to progress you know and expand and learn more and and unite and i mean just because everything matters in a way you know we everything makes up the whole so what would it be without that specific thing you know and who is to say that that should be go be going going away you know it's like also another question that i always look into is that people always speak of what is good and bad and what needs to leave and what needs to stay and what needs to do do this and that but we you know it's an experience it's an experience to learn not to judge it where it's like a if we think well, it's like a big book in a way, you know, we're just learning things uh, from it, uh, but we have to apply it then because th that's kind of the test is how do we apply the teachings? How do we apply what we learn, what we understood uh, to be able to see? So that's when the body also, again, comes into play and shows uh, the true reality of what's going on in the individual space of that individual, you know, so um, nothing can be hidden. Nothing can be, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's stupid to start, you know, trying to fool these kinds of processes because it's impossible. 
because you're only fooling yourself and you know and it, it's not going to be the same the same um result you know you're not i mean you can sit and believe it and but it's not it's not because the, the thing that is entering right now and which is very important to to speak of i think is is to really explain that we come now, you know, here we come, the ones that really did the work, you know, the ones that did it mind, body, and soul, not just, not just mind. Um, we are here, you know, and we are not going anywhere. And we are here to learn about ourselves now, you know, to really rise above our own feelings of being bad or less or shamed or all of that, because there has been put a lot of energy and effort into shutting us up you know and what i am seeing it's because of this it's because we have the in, the understanding of the infinite essence and the organic essence and it's just time you know it's just time and they i mean it has been attempted to shut us up before and it has been actually successful but you know we learn and and many of us are really working on being a self, uh, a human identity, to be able to protect ourselves right now, you know, to be able to say no to things that don't, uh, you know, apply to what we are trying to do or whatever. Um, but other, of course, the other part should be inclined towards opening up, you know, and accepting that there's more and accepting that something else is coming in now. You know, so that's how we will see if the inner work has been done properly in all places, you know, because it should not be a problem that we also are here, you know, because there are people that have done the work through their own bodies. They have been people that have been in very, very dark places for a very, very long time for very expansive reasons you know but we have been told that that's not true we you, you don't want you don't want that you, you can't love without loving yourself stuff like that and it's like yes i can but maybe i can protect myself that's that's something else you know and that's what we are learning right now we're learning to protect ourselves we're learning the 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 language of this realm of how this works uh because we have been in our hearts and and trying to to retrieve the the information that these energies, very difficult energies came with, you know, just because we wanted to understand them. But understanding is like this dismantle because it dismantles everything. It, they can't do anything about it. You can't do anything about it. When you understand, you simply understand. And it just, you know, it encompasses forgiveness and all of these human traits that people want to be able to delve into. Instead, you can just understand, you know, and just, you know, you just bring all of that in and you don't have to engage in the human dramas in, in a way, you know, so understanding just, just means all of that stuff. So it, you don't, you, but you don't have to be, you know, engage in that part of yourself in the same way anymore. You don't need to identify with your human self in that way. So you can start, you know, creating your new self where you can identify you yourself because your actions are tangible stuff that you can actually accept that you have done or not done, you know? So, so this is, is, yes, it's going to, I guess, create some kind of separation with, uh, with people that have not done it, or maybe they just do it, you know, they just do it and feel that, okay, enough is enough. I don't want to do this anymore. Nothing works. And I'm just going to try this, you know, and, and there will be people to help you with that, you know? So it's like, I don't see where the wrong is anymore. You know, I've been, I've been going around this for such a long time trying to find ways to be you know sensitive about it or um and, and that kind of things but it's like it's not it's not necessary anymore i think you know because i know that i am sensitive towards others feelings i know that i care about others uh but at the same time something that i found very important lately is that um when you meddle with another human being and their own reality, if you can see their light, but they're not showing you their light, you just need to go away because that human being is stating, I'm not that, 
you know, I'm not that I'm not, I'm not seeing myself in that way. And, and you don't, you know, it, it becomes these tensions because, uh, he or she feels inferior because he can't own up to what you're seeing, for instance. So, so that's what we need to now, you know, bring down now and not, not, not meddle with people that do not want to be meddled with, you know, so just leave them alone and, and allow everyone to have their process. You know, a lot of things have been done in a, in a subconscious way. Uh, not everything has been pretty, not everything has been, has been, you know, elegant, <laughs> uh, or stuff like that, but it, you know, it, it basically it's been a war, you know, it's been a war on consciousness. I mean, I've experienced it a lot, you know, I've lost basically everything more than once, I think three times now. Um, I have nothing, I have no money, I have no nothing, uh, but I intend to, to recreate myself, you know, it's, it's okay. But, um, it's just, it's, it's really been when you really begin to do the difference, you are going to feel it, you know? So that's why we need to do the difference together, everyone at the same time, because that's when we will not be able to feel it in the same way, because we will not be alone in it in the same way. You know, the, the people that have been doing this before have been very alone uh, yeah. and uh, alone in society, alone amongst friends, alone amongst lovers, among alone amongst family. Uh, but that is not necessary anymore. So that is like, a, that was the sacrifice that some of us did so that not everyone needed to do it. But now it's like saying, look, I have this backpack. It's filled with stones. You know, can you take one, <laughs> you know, and just make it less heavy for me, at least a little, you know, just because if we are many and everyone takes a stone from the backpack, it's not going to be heavy for anyone anymore. If you just have to carry your own stone, it's okay. But if you have to carry the, the entire spectrum of stones that are available on just one person, of course, it's going to be extremely heavy. And that's how I've been seeing my life. That's how it became very, very difficult for me because I was in dynamics where people didn't want to own up to their shit. And, and I was seeing it and I was understanding it. So it fell on me, you know, but, and, and that's still the case in, in some, in some ways in my life that people do not want to own up with, to what they have done to me. And, and, you know, even if I can see the whole spectrum of it, even, even if I can see that this has been beneficial for my soul, uh, that's my work. That's not their work. So, so they don't get to say to me that that was beneficial for my soul. You know, that, that is for me to say, and they get to say, that I was beneficial for their soul, you know, but they don't get to say that about me and they, I don't get to say that about them. So it's important to not get entangled in these things because I've been told many times that, oh, that's good for you. And that's, you know, but, but I was being told to accept very, very difficult things, you know, in my life and very, and getting a lot of logic around it so that I would be able to, to accept it as my truth which it wasn't, it was the truth of the other that I was given my energy to and, and allowing people to, to create their own reality with my help. So that is not luck because I was, you know, handing over my energy to another person to create this illusion or whatever they want to call it. And, and my energy was not being used for anything that I was seeing was, was beneficial, you know? So, yeah. But at the same time, you know, everything has its stage and now we are at this part now. And that's all there is to it is there's no need to be able to 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 feel bad about anything or, or to linger in the past. It's like moving forward instead. Yeah. So great. And uh, and I I just wanted to before because we're, we're at the two hour mark. So oh. um, <laughs> Uh, um, I just want to, because I wanted to leave just a little bit of space to, and I know you, you might, you, you, you're still working on um, having a place where people can uh, go, where, where you would offer, uh, you know, the working with, with others and, and things of this yep. uh, nature. Um, is there any way that people can, um, get in touch with you or is it okay if people get in touch with you on, 
on Facebook yes. or something. And um, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, for me, uh, I I always I'm looking for collaboration or you know because I realized that I don't have much to work with, but I do know that somehow I have enough. So, uh, but it doesn't always have to be because I don't have a lot of, um, gadgets or stuff like that. So, so it's like Facebook is the only place that I have available right now. And I have another group in, in another Facebook page that was an attempt to make a shamanic school that is not, it's not, I'm not done with that, but it's like, um, I just put it on hold because I was working on other things. Um, but I'm, and I intend to create another kind of group or, um, I don't know, platform for, to be able to develop this, but I'm looking for people to work with also. Yes, I am. Um, because one part of this is weaving and it's weaving, uh, different knowledges, different, um, wisdoms that have been retrieved from different lives and, and, and experiences. So anyone that wants to contact me and talk about these things are more than welcome to do that. And, um, yes, I mean, I, I, please do, (laughs) if you want to talk to me, just, just contact me. Uh, I have a normal Facebook page and I have this, um, shamanic school page uh but it's not it's not in uh, I'm, I'm not using it right now but it's like that's another platform that i have uh which mm. i intend to also get going again uh but yes so i'll, I'll leave a, a, a link to both of them um i i don't have this i don't I, I think i don't think i have the shamanic um page link uh, so if you can send me that or point me yes. to the page and, and I'll grab that, but I'll put your Facebook page uh, as well so that people <laughs> can contact you. And um, also, if you have any questions for Maya, again, you can leave them here and I'll, I'll get them to her or you can just friend request on uh, or send her a message on her Facebook page. So yeah, this this has been great. Yeah, this is uh, you know, thank you for for um doing this. And um, uh, again, I, I mentioned you might have been um reconnecting when I mentioned this, but I'm gonna be putting all of these podcasts, and I forget how many I've I've done so far, but I'll be putting them into audio form as well. So there will be the video, and then I'm gonna um you know, uh, I got to work on it, but I'm going to put them into audio. So there'll be the audio podcast that it will be available to people. Not sure which platform I'm going to put it on yet, but you will be able to listen to the guided meditations and more podcasts while you're doing your laundry or whatever, you know, because a lot of times people don't have, can't sit down and watch the videos. Uh, The videos will still be available as well, uh, but I'm going to make the audio available. So, and just some closing announcements. Uh, Thank you for joining Guided Meditations and More Podcasts. Uh, I'm Ade Richardson, and our guest today is Maya. And um, the topic was uh, welcoming consciousness into the material earth realm. If you're just joining, uh, if you're just joining us now, this video will be uh, available immediately after, so you can watch it and thereafter as well. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Maya. Maya, stay thank on uh, just for a second after I end the recording, if that's okay. Yes, okay. of course. Thank okay. you so much. <laughs> thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you.